So, if you read the title and saw the thumbnail, you probably are curious as to how a player can earn such an insane amount of money for just simply full comboing a map. How could someone earn way more than a player who wins the OWC, which is the biggest official OC tournament ever, in only just one play? Well, allow me to introduce you to Bounties. So, what is a bounty? Bounties are nothing new to games like Osu, where a sum of money is applied to a map with certain requirements such as full comboing, assessing, or maybe even HP passing a map, and if fulfilled, the player is rewarded with the bounty money. Some noteworthy bounties in the past include the $300 first FC on good bounce claimed by Vaxe. The $1,200 first triple A on Death Piano in FFR, claimed by Jakadz. And of course, the notorious $3,333 first FC on Dokido's Yomiuri, claimed by Karcher. Osu bounties have become so big, where it's gotten to the point where an official Twitter account managed by Skill Osu was set up dedicated to announcing bounties. But as of right now, the only bounties present on that account are for the Osu standard game mode. Mania has seen couple but little to no bounties in the past years, as there hasn't really been a map that was so hard to the extent that no skilled player could be. But there exist a few notable ones, like the recent bounty for the first SS on Banging Burst, which is the oldest ranked map that still hasn't had an SS achieved on. For several reasons. Oh my God! As stupidly crazy as this map is, I don't doubt that one day it will be done. I mean, hell, some people have already gotten incredibly close. So what map could be so ridiculous, so impossible, for it to be worthy of a bounty called the most insane? Well my friends, that would have to be how to play LN's love map called Polyrhythm. Many of you may already know this map, but for those who don't, allow me to form a picture for you. Picture this, you hit the play button and start hitting notes for about 40 seconds, but then your monitor decides to turn off. Well, what do you do? Get up and turn your monitor back on? I mean. Yeah, that's probably what I'd do, but for Polyrhythm, you say fuck the monitor and continue playing with it off. I mean, I think we can all agree that Osu is a rhythm game through and through, with many maps being insanely difficult to hold accuracy on, insane patterns to keep up with, or even just plain general. However, for those maps, you can actually see the notes. But what if I told you to full combo a near 4 minute map without actually being able to see the notes? Uh huh, you see where I'm getting at here? Polyrhythm has pretty much cemented itself as a classic map for its insane usage of SV timing on an already unpredictable rhythmic based song, making the map borderline unplayable. It's garnered over 400,000 play count over the last year, with numerous top players participating and setting scores on it. This map would eventually go on to become controversial as certain unknown names began appearing on the top of the leaderboard. And that's not to discourage and accuse any new players from setting absolute bonkers scores, but rather, it created a lot of trust issues. See, for maps like Polyrhythm, some people could dual screen the play. Well, what does that mean? Well, we play Osu on one monitor in front of us, but what if we have another monitor on our left or right showing the non-SV version? The player would watch the other monitor with the normal notes while tapping to the main monitor with the invisible notes, therefore submitting a cheated score. But alas, a bounty for the first ever full combo achieved on the VIP difficulty was created by Adam Ackerville. And when I say a lot of money was on the line, I mean a lot. 
Initially, the bounty reward began as a measly 10 months of OSA supporter, but after 9 months of no FCs achieved and nothing really coming out of the community, Mitter and Critical joined forces and contributed $900, causing the grand prize being bumped up to a whopping $1,100. Like any other OC bounty score, there are a bunch of rules attached to it. The most notable one being the full combo, but this time with 99% accuracy. Since Polyrhythm was such an intense map with numerous unpredictable timings, this only made the challenge even more extreme, as hitting too early or late in one section could jeopardize the entire play itself. Following this, the usual requirement of recording or streaming the live play with the handcam and monitor visible was needed to prevent any dual screen plays. You also needed to show the task manager at the beginning or during the play to prove that a cheat client wasn't being used. And if all those rules are completed and followed, you earn yourself an easy $1.1 thousand dollar dues. So, who is it gonna be? Well, there was only one player in everyone's mind that could even come close to full comboing the VIP difficulty. Who else but the greatest SV player in the world, Crew K. Being the greatest SV player in the world is nothing to scoff at, as Crew K has set numerous historical scores like the first SS on Shakunetsu, The first SS on Perth again. The first SS on the Mastermind. But regardless of those incredible plays, there remained one final challenge, and so he booted up his stream and began the grind. <laughs> this may have been the most calm reaction to beating the biggest bounty for the Mania game mode, as Crew K was just speechless. Word spread fast as the first ever full combo on Polyrhythm in two years of the map being out was absolutely demolished. 
And I think it's safe to say that Kruke is truly the best SV player in the world, and we won't be seeing a player who can rival him anytime soon. I mean heck, this guy full comboed Polyrhythm in just over 100 tries. But that is it for this short little documentary. Do you think this play is worthy of being titled as the most insane? Let me know down in the comments as I read all of them. And if you're still here, consider helping a brother out by hitting the like and subscribe button as it'll help me with the algorithm. A big shout out to my members, Line, Lovebeats, Sentinel, Takinesu, Heterosapien69, Azunon, and everyone else for supporting me through membership. If you want your name to be featured in future videos, consider joining by clicking the join button next to my name and choosing a tier. But that's about it, thanks for watching and see ya!